Alrighty, everyone was going to give you a live check downtown, but our tower cam does not work when it gets a little wet. It got a little wet, so it's not working right now. So we're getting right to the tidbits as we bring you on to high temperatures today that will be making their way into the 70s. It is going to be oh so warm. Now I will anticipate as of right now because we could get a bit more sun to likely break out this afternoon. This should be the warmest day of the week now. What is shifted a little bit with the forecast? More moisture holding tight into Saturday and that is something that hasn't really changed in the forecast period. That will be the most likely day to get anything of actual storm potential, rain and that has been something we've been discussing all throughout this week. So I'm hoping you've been working on getting those plans together. Make Making sure you're staying weather aware there. But today, oh, I need to give you those extra reminders. How about this? To enjoy your Friday. Now, early on here, this is what we were seeing with rain projections today. And we could see a couple of downpours, even a couple of thunder showers try to form into the PD and down to the coast. You got to give it a few hours, though, because by the time we're seeing any of this moisture move through this morning, we're relatively dry for the Midlands. All we're seeing right now is a few continuing light showers, and that is going to be it for the most part for our Friday. Breaking on out. Look at that gorgeous sunshine this afternoon. Have that pair of shades. Get out there for some grilling, some outdoor activity. Maybe this is going to be a day you want to take advantage of some outdoor chores you need to get done. You've been putting some things off. You've been waiting for a nice warm day, especially for Friday. Hey, what a better way to get ready for the weekend. We could relax a little bit, right? At least I'm hoping so anyway, depending on your schedule. Let's see Saturday though. Because as we go into this morning, this is where we see tomorrow more moisture coming up. This is from a new area of low pressure. It's still all coming along with that big moisture flow and warmth up out of the Gulf. This is where we finally reach that peak, finally getting a quick pop of precipitation and some thunderstorm activity that could easily be there for the morning. You could be getting woken up by a rumble of thunder if you're someone who likes to sleep in on Saturdays as we go on forward here. So watch out for that. We still see the isolated shower and storm potential linger into the day, but then it really breaks up a bit and then we continue to see it fall apart as we go late on Saturday and then right into Sunday morning. Dryness will be working to take over and even with some clouds they'll be mixing in Sunday will be a much different day, much cooler, drier, and that's how we're going to be settling all the way for the second half of the weekend with a good breeze. Mind you kicking up that is going to be continuing to usher in a new air mass in the next week. Right now, though, obviously going to toss in the grilling cast again. Don't get too many feels like this in January, so don't waste it. We get highs near 77 degrees. It is very warm, very muggy. We uh, sit with that with more of that afternoon sun breaking out. Really is looking to be a nice day as then we get overnight with lows falling back to the low 60s. Setting the stage going into Saturday morning with that rain and thunder potential. So reminders again, remain weather aware early on Saturday. You could still do so into the afternoon as things break up a little bit and then we make our move back to the dryness and that cooler air looking from Sunday and beyond. If that's going to be a nice switch up for you, well, I'm hoping either way you got a bit of some type of weather you'll like during this forecast period.